you probably want to declassify your drone immediately. Let me tell you why. So the EASA, it stands for the European Aviation Safety Agency. They are the reason for classification of drones in Europe. And for example, the DJI Mini 4 Pro has a zero. And what that means is that it's a C0 drone. That also means that it falls under certain certification requirements. And that is governing from 1st of January 2024. And that means that if you're flying in Europe, or if you are ever thinking about flying in Europe, your drone will be limited to 120 meters of height. And you maybe say that, oh, that's very high. I'm never going to fly higher than that. No, that's maybe true. But the thing is that if you are traveling somewhere and you're going to hike upside a mountain, for example, the requirement for you as a drone pilot is that you are not allowed to fly over 120 meters from ground level. And if you're hiking up that mountain, that means that when you're up here, there is another level to 120 meters than it was when you are down here. So suddenly you are reaching that height limit, even if you are actually walking higher than that. And that's why you really want to declassify your drone and don't have it as a C0 classified drone. And this is only possible all until the last of December 2023. So make sure you do this, because if you're not doing it before that, your drone will be classified as a C0 drone and you will not be able to declassify it and you will not be able to remove this height restriction. And DJI has actually made it possible to declassify your drone inside remote. And the thing is that you need to be, as I said, in an EU country. So if you are, for example, in Norway, Iceland or UK for that matter, then you won't be able to access this setting in the remote. You need to actually physically be in a EU country to get that option here. So if you are from the States, for example, make sure to take a travel to Europe, because if you do that after the 1st of January, you will not be able to do this. And I can just imagine that there will be lots of drones on the market that are sold from third party that are declassified already, and they will probably have a higher price than the classified ones. And I can't find any downsides to declassify your drone, because the rules says that starting from 1st of January 2024, operations in the open category must be conducted with a drone. So that all drones need to be classified. So either it has to have a bearing of C0 to C4 class identification label. And on this DJI Mini 4 Pro, we have the C0. Or it has to be privately built. So you have to build it yourself. I'm not doing that. Or it can fly even without class identification label, but only if placed on the market before 31st of December 2023. So there will probably be a lot of drones under Christmas tree this year because that's when you have the possibility to do this. And if you purchase one of those drones, I'm gonna link to all my videos, for example, my beginner's master class in the description box below. So you can learn everything there is to know about this drone and how to fly safe instead of being sorry. So now I'm gonna show you how to declassify your drone. So to do that, I tap those three dots. So before we continue, I just need to mention that there is nothing that is saying that you won't be able to declassify your drone after the uh, last of December, 2023 because it says that the drone has to be on the market. It has to be sold, as I interpret that. It has to be sold before the last of December, 2023. So as long as you bought it before that date, it should be registered in DJI's system that is purchased before that date. And that means that you actually should be able to declassify your drone even after the last of December, 2023, as long as it was purchased before that date. Then in safety tab, we're gonna scroll down to where we have the max altitude. And as you can see, the maximum altitude is now 120 meters because it's a C0 classified drone. Then I just tap request higher altitude limit. Then it says verify and I get this QR code. And if you instead of this QR code getting a network error message, that means, unfortunately, that you need to factory reset the remote. And I'm going to link to a video in the description box below showing you how you factory reset this remote. But instead, I have this QR code. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to scan this QR code. So now we get to this remove restricted height application on DJI's website. And now we're going to fill this out so I can show you how that is done. We start with filling out my email. And then after that, we're going to take a picture of the drone. And we're going to do that first when we have the label there. And then we're going to take a new picture when the label is removed. So let's take 
one of these pictures. So we show that the C0 label is there. And then we're going to remove these tags. Let's do that together. Now the C0 label is removed from the drone and we're going to take a new picture where we display that the C0 label is removed. We go back to the website and then we're going to upload this image upload. We have to select one at a time apparently. And then we're going to upload the second one. That was when the label was there. Now we're going to upload the picture when the label is removed. So now I can also verify that I actually uploaded two different images so you don't upload the same image twice. And here it says just a risk reminder. Don't get too scared about that. It just says that once the C0 label is removed in this application, there will be no option to reapply for it. Starting from 2024, a compliant pathway for applying for the C1 label will be made available. So then if you apply again, the drone will be a C1 drone instead of a C0 drone. Honestly, I find it very strange that a C0 drone can become a C1 drone just because you reclassify it because it's not suddenly heavier and the main difference between the C0 and C1 is the weight limit that the C1 is below 900 grams and C0 is below 250 grams and I've asked the question to authorities and I'm awaiting answers so whenever I get answers on this weird way to classify or reclassify then I'm gonna get back to you so you know what actually happens. And then it says on number two that for the removal of the C0 label before December 31st, 2023, the aircraft can continue to fly in the A1 environment starting from January 1st, 2024. So that is what we said before that as long as the drone is put on the market, either that the manufacturer put that model on the market or from the time it's sold, that's not really clear then it should be able to fly in the A1 category as long as you declassify it before. But in number three, it says after January 1st, 2024, once the C0 label is removed without a CX label, the aircraft can only fly under the specific category by applying for flight authorization through Sora and are no longer allowed to fly in A1 environments. And I don't think that is correct. Why? That is because the drone is still purchased, it's still put on the market before the 31st of December. So it shouldn't really matter what date you declassify it because it's all about when it was put on the market. So DJI, I don't know if number three is correct. And then number four, that is just that you should follow the local laws and regulation in each country and region. That's pretty self-explanatory. I have read and understand this and I'm going to take submit. Data upload successfully. Your application has been successfully completed. If you're using the RCN2, you will see that there is no more button and your max flight altitude is 500 meters. If you're using the RC2, you just need to click the request button again to check the status and then your max flight altitude will be 500 meters. Confirm. So let's do that in remote to see if that is true. Let's press OK. And now directly, I didn't even need to request anything here. It says now instead of 120 meters, I can now fly up to 500 meters and I can actually follow the drone up the side of a mountain or something that is actually higher than 120 meters from the ground where it started. And it's just so annoying that this is the case. The problem with these drones is that they don't know how high up they are from the ground. They only know how high up they are from the starting point. So if you are climbing up a mountain, they have no idea that they are just 10 meters above the ground. They think they are 120 meters and you can't fly higher. So that is how easy you remove the C0 certification of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And you can do that of other drones that have these certification as well. And before you stop watching, Watch that video instead because that is the video YouTube recommended to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.